Welcome to the Purple Party known as Purple Nerd Channel, a home for all those who geek out and all things Prince related. I recently covered disc one of this three CD set, and I will have a link to that video at the end of this video. And as we continue into disc two, you, me, and the whole world has come to the realization that this is not, in fact, the unreleased 1986 album, Crystal Ball. And we've also realized that this album is not sequenced in any particular order with no attention to timeline or subject matter. Although after this release, we were informed that Prince purposely left off songs that featured large contributions from his band, The Revolution, as he was planning on releasing a new Prince and The Revolution album of unreleased music called Roadhouse Garden, which unfortunately never came out. But I did do a video about that canceled project and I will have a link to that video in the description down below. So let's continue through this set with disc two. We open up with Interactive. Now we got to know how to play Interactive. This song was recorded in 1993 with plans of being included on the album The Gold Experience released in 1995. This heavy rock song has Prince trying to figure out a way to connect with a particular lady that he's got his eyes on, using the metaphor of interactive for connecting with her. A video was filmed for this song, but a full version of it has yet to be released. Next is Da Bang. Recorded in 1995 with no plans to be on a particular project, at least from what I could research, the transition from cool and smooth delivered verses rocketing into an explosion known as the hook is absolute fire, only for it to snap right back into cool for another verse. The song has Prince explain to a certain lady that he would do whatever she requires of him in order for him to get that cookie. Although I do just now remember that this song was actually considered for a unreleased project called Playtime by Versace, which I did a video for, and I will have a link to that video in the description down below. Next is Calhoun Square. Recorded in 1993, this song goes from dirty funk groove to rock anthem as it transitions from the verses to the chorus. This song could be like an updated version or an alternate version of Uptown, as he talks about a diverse area of town, focus on the arts and liberation. Next is What's My Name. This song was recorded in 1993 and has Prince in a space of, dare I say, sadness, as he feels as though nothing matters anymore. To the point that he's like, so what's the point of having a name? The verses are really hard to hear as they are delivered very softly in almost a whisper-like tone in a spoken word-like delivery before erupting into the chorus. Next is Crucial. So we shoot back to the mid 80s with this amazing ballad recorded in 1986 and meant for the album Sign of the Times before being replaced by the magnificent song Adore. There is another version of this song with different lyrics, which would find its home on the 2020 Sign of the Times Deluxe Edition. Next is An Honest Man. Recorded a cappella in 1985 and meant to be the opening to the album Parade, Prince would add orchestration provided by Claire Fisher to the song. The song was inspired by Kristen Scott Thomas's character from Prince's film Under the Cherry Moon. The orchestration pieces would be used as a part of the film's score, in particular the grotto scene where Kristen's character Mary is waiting for Prince's character Christopher Tracy. Next is Sexual Suicide. Suicide. Recorded in 1985 and meant for the canceled Dream Factory project, this song has Prince questioning his lady, do you really want to give up all this good lovin'? Next is Chlorine Bacon Skin. You my wife, Chlorine, uh, bacon skin. Wait a minute. Uh. 
Recorded back in 1983 with only Prince on guitar and Morris Day on drums, and Prince on vocals using his Jamie Starr voice. At over 15 minutes long, this song is a jam session with Morris and Prince creating everything on the fly, including the hilarious tale of an ugly woman named Chlorine Baconskin. Next is Good Love. Recorded in 1986 and originally included on the Cancelled Camille Project, which I did a video about, and I will have a link to that video in the description down below. The song would eventually find its home on the soundtrack for the film Bright Lights Big City starring Michael J. Fox. The version on the soundtrack, though, is actually 30 seconds longer than the version we get on this collection. We close out disc two with Strays of the World. This larger than life song was recorded in 1993 and has like a theatrical vibe to it, making it perfect for the screen or even the stage. As it was part of Prince's stage show, but there are unconfirmed rumors that Prince wrote it for an unproduced Broadway play titled Come. Thank you for joining me on this episode. Please like and share this video. And if you don't mind, please subscribe to the channel. It really does help the channel grow. And if you got a moment, go ahead and check out my Patreon page. I will have information about that in the description down below. I will see you on the next episode where we continue on through this set and we go to disc three. And until that next episode, I wish you heaven.